the average amount of oxygen in the blood is about 96%. When deprived of adequate oxygen, hypoxia, the body can experience a variety of symptoms. You may be suffering from an oxygen deficiency if you experience bronchial problems, acid stomach, poor digestion, irritability, irrational behavior, memory loss, depression, dizziness, muscle aches and pains, circulation problems, fatigue, and overall body weakness. If you have any of these symptoms, you should see a doctor immediately. Because only a medical professional can diagnose the seriousness of your oxygen level deficiency. Varying degrees of oxygen deficiency can be related to medical conditions like heart or lung disease. Drinking alcohol, because the liver uses a lot of oxygen to break down and eliminate alcohol from the body. Smoking, red blood cells absorb the carbon monoxide in smoke 230 times faster than oxygen, leaving less room in the blood cells for the transportation of oxygen throughout the body. High altitude activities such as mountain climbing, flying planes, or visiting cities like Denver. But more commonly, oxygen deficiencies can be caused by the air we breathe and the food we eat. Consider air quality. The amount of oxygen available to us in the air has diminished over the years, especially in cities and industrial areas where air pollution and carbon monoxide contribute to this problem. Did you know air samples found in bubbles suspended in ancient fossilized amber contained oxygen levels of 38%? Glacier ice core gases are used by scientists to study historical climate records. And they have found before the Industrial Revolution began in the mid-1700s, our air was 32% oxygen. By the 1900s, the oxygen content of our air had diminished to 24%. Today, the oxygen content in the air we breathe could be as low as 19 to 21 percent, and in large cities, it could be considerably lower. Human life cannot be supported if oxygen levels were to drop to 7 percent, which could happen if the world's main sources of oxygen, ocean plankton and rainforest vegetation, continue to be destroyed. The end result is our bodies were built for a world with better oxygen levels, and now we may not be able to get all the oxygen we need simply by breathing. Now let's look at how we are decreasing our oxygen levels every day through our diet and food choices. How many processed foods do you eat during the day? Do you know how to tell if a food is processed or not? Processed foods are characterized by being low in fiber, enzymes, water, and oxygen, while also being high in saturated fats and sugars. The main point to remember is that processed foods' natural oxygen content has been stripped away, which means our system robs oxygen from other body functions, like the brain's thinking, the heart's pumping, muscles moving, etc., in an attempt to metabolize the oxygen-deficient processed food. When the body cannot steal enough oxygen to break down and thoroughly burn away the processed food, you end up with a constant buildup of residue, toxins, that further harms the body. Whether processed or not, a diet high in acid alters the body's natural alkaline pH balance. And a body with an acid pH imbalance helps pathogens like viruses and bad bacteria to thrive and requires greater oxygen levels just to maintain health. And if all that wasn't enough, infections stress the immune system and deplete even more oxygen from the body. Overprescribed medications can depress the immune system even more and deplete the body's oxygen reserves. Contaminated water supplies, both municipal and bottled, may look perfectly clear, but can contain chemicals and pathogens that affect the body and again require more oxygen. Lack of exercise and poor breathing habits contribute to both reduced oxygen levels and excess weight. And excess weight taxes the entire body, depleting life-giving oxygen and opening the door to disease. Digestion alone takes a lot of oxygen and energy. That's why we feel lethargic after a big meal. The more food you eat, the more oxygen you need. So as we've seen, there are many ways oxygen is robbed from our bodies. The more oxygen thieves in our lives, the more we need to take action to do something positive to improve our body's oxygen levels. 
Our Oxygen Supercharger ASO is the world's premier stabilized oxygen supplement. 